In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a user settable password in Crestron on Simple Windows and Vision Tools Pro E. Before I get started, I already did a video and I'll link to it here that shows how to set up the basic version of this where you don't have user settable passwords. This video is going to explain how you can add user settable capabilities to that existing project. So the first thing we want to do when creating a user settable password is think about user application and how the flow is going to work for the user interface. You don't want people to be able to change the password if they're not already authenticated. So the way that I've set this up, I put it on the password protected page. So you have to go into it first and then that basically confirms that you're authenticated. You can go in and change the password. It shows you what the current password is. You can clear that out and put whatever you want. It'll pop up and say that it's changed. And then we can go back in with the new password. And that's what the current password is. Now I should note that for one thing, the old password won't work anymore. The one, two, three, four, five. And for two, there's a backdoor password and I'll show you how to set that up so that we can get in if the user has changed it to something and we don't know what it is. In VT Pro, I added this password change pop-up, which is basically a duplication of the original enter password pop-up. And I have a different serial text join for the current password, a different close button because it's going to be managed by a different set reset latch. And I'm using the same keypad. I just changed the text here, but it will act the same as the same smart graphics object inside Simple. The other thing I've added just to be kind of nice and pretty is this password change OK, which you saw slides down from the top. Looks kind of slick. And I've added both of these new sub pages to the advanced page and assigned them a join. And you'll also notice that I set a transition for this one to fly from the top. It's kind of a cool effect. Exponential in out lets it kind of snap in and snap out. It's kind of a interesting graphical effect that you see on smartphones and stuff like that. Password change appears as well with a pop-up. So now I'm going to show you what it, this looks like in Simple Windows. So here in Simple Windows, I've reorganized my logic a bit. I had a set reset and an or latch before. I put that into this password pop-up folder. I created a new pop-up folder, password change pop-up. So I have a set reset latch and an or gate. This is basically managing that pop-up and I'll just show you here. As this is managing the change pop-up, this one here. So this button here sets this, and it can be cleared by the cancel, can be cleared by getting the password right, and I guess it also is cleared by return. So let's just look here. So I've got a an OR gate, pop-up close, password OK, password change OK. So I guess I probably didn't need this one here, but I just left it. And I have a set reset latch that closes that. And then what I've done is I've connected this to my touch panel. So I have password change press. So that's this change password. I've got the pop-up close. That's that red X. We've got a driver for the change pop-up. It comes down from the top and change OK. Sorry, the change OK comes from the top. Uh, the change pop-up is where you enter it. The only other thing here is the password text. That's the non-starred version. So I had to make a few modifications here to how we're using this module. The first thing, this is the password version 1.1 module. This backdoor password, that's going to be the way that we can get in if somebody changes it. So I've set it in this case to 55555 and default password 12345, that's the one that will be changed by users. Now the other connections that I've made here, there's this enter compare mode and enter change mode. What I realized is that I already have a latch that's handling that. When I'm on the main page, the latch that's holding this high and showing this pop-up, it means that I want to be in compare mode. When I'm inside here, this means that I want to be in change password mode. So I'm just using that to drive this module as compare mode or change mode. Previously, we were always in compare mode. The enter and the clear are the same. I just renamed the signal enter change because it kind of has two functions now. The other thing that I did, passwords, password change accepted. That's driving my pop-up from the top, that little drop down where it pops up there. That's driven by that, so it's a pulse. 
And this password, this is the non-starred password. So the, that's driven to the panel. And the way that this works is when you go change password, it actually populates that with what the current user password is. So that's kind of cool. And they can just clear it and set a new one. 3-3, three, three, for example. Then the old one no longer works, the 2-2-2-2, two, 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 and just 3-3. Three, three. And that's basically it. I'm going to have a link to the code here so that you can download this project and use it in your own projects. Again, it's pretty basic, but this helps you have a user settable password. The last thing to note is that if you change the program and reload it, it will reset the default password as it is in here. And that's just the way that this module is programmed to work. But it does use NVRAM, so if the program is restarted or the processor reboots, it will keep the user settable password. So the only thing to remember is if you're updating your code, the user password is going to get reset to whatever it's in here. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any ideas on new stuff that you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments. If you have any questions about what I've posted here, again, in the comments, I can have conversations with you. Please like the video and subscribe for more videos like this.